Alright, this is a really handy little tutorial for something which isn't as well known as it should be, which is basically the shell extension for the Google Drive, which basically takes the Google Mail address which you've got and makes it into a virtual hard drive, which is much more handy than it actually sounds. So if I quickly Google Gmail, you'll notice that Google Mail is gives you a massive amount of storage, which is really, really helpful. Which it says you'll never need to delete another message. We're going to use it for file storage and maintenance. So, when I started and got my first Gmail account, it was just over six gigs. So you can see how much it has actually grown because it's literally going up second by second. So, what you're going to want to do is you can do this with your existing Gmail account if you've got one. It doesn't affect your email. Um, but if you haven't got one, just go and create an account. You can call your fill this in however you want. You know, it's none of my concern. Make sure you remember all of your settings and get your email set up however you want with your address and write that down somewhere safe. Then once you're happy with it and you've got it all set up, I will upload this file to Mega Upload, that's where I always upload to. It'll be absolutely tiny, like half a meg if that. And then simply run this setup. And then that's it installing the shell. And then you'll notice that this will come up. To get to the next screen, all you have to do is close this. You see that little bra um, loading screen? That was it. And now, quickly minimise that. If I go to my computer, and I'll be doing a tutorial for the GladNet one later, you'll notice I now have the Gmail drive, which is exactly it. So if I open that up, it asks you to put in your username, which is your email address. Make sure you put in your full email and your password. So I'm going to quickly pause it and put in my stuff, so obviously I don't want you knowing my details, and then I will resume the video in just a second. Okay, my details are now in. That's the email I made for it, and obviously my password's blanked out. I've told it to auto-login, but you simply click OK. It then logs on to Gmail. This doesn't take too long. The enumerating folders can, though. And as you can see, me and my girlfriend have been using this for a while. These are the pictures we've put in there. Well, literally, it works exactly as a hard drive. Now, it just appears there, you double click it, it'll come up. Then, you want to add a program into it. I'll quickly show you, but I'll put this in. You simply drag and drop or copy and paste as you would normally. It then comes up with this. As you can see, it's going through all of the files. Doesn't take long, it's purely uploading to the Google server. Ah typically error message <laughs> but yeah normally as you can see we've got all of our stuff on there it works absolutely perfectly so it's a really really handy little tool for backing up small files and music and things and um, I highly recommend you give it a go and I will next time be doing a tutorial for this the GLADNet drive which is basically where I've mounted my Windows Live SkyDrive as a hard drive which SkyDrive gives you 25 gig of web space. So you can see here, I've got all this stuff. It's brilliantly helpful. You could streams really quickly as well. It takes a little bit more work though. But anyway, that's that's it for now. So I'll be uploading the Google Mail um, installation package to Mega Upload and put that in the description. And I hope it all works for you. Um, I've given this to a few people and none of them have any problems, so I assume it will work just fine. So yeah, have fun with it.